another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. Uh, 3D Boxing here with the Boxing, boxing Bookie. Going to show you how to bring down the house. Um, Vegas has no clue how to handicap handicap boxing. and We're going to show you how to make money consistently in the sport of boxing. Now, I don't gamble or anything like that, but today we're going to look at Mark Efron and Jack Cullen, which I think is a great fight to make money on. Uh, it's going to be a fun fight. Um, but we'll get into how I'm, I, I would advise you to gamble this fight. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits. Uh, and also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. Uh, this is the boxing. All, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, this is uh, the Boxing Bookie. We're going to show you how to bring down the house. Uh, today's fight, uh, which we're going to get dive into, I, I think, look, I'm saying it's a home run, not because it's a one-sided beatdown, uh, but because it, it's a good fight. I think it's tailor-made for Mark Heffron. Um, Mark Heffron is a puncher. Um, he's won, what, what is it, four fights in a row now um, by stopping since the, the loss. So he, he had consecutive losses. Oh, no, he had a Jordan loss. A Jordan Bentley, um, which he was dropped, and I, I thought lost. Um, and then he had a a, a, a fourth round uh, stoppage loss to De Denzel Bentley. Um, so he was 0-1-1 in one, one those two fights. He also has a loss to Liam Williams years ago in a fight that he was beat down. He wasn't ready at that particular time. Um, those are his two losses. Both of them he's been stopped in. Once in the 10th, once in the 4th, and he has a draw. Since then, he's got four consecutive knockouts. This guy can punch. He's a fun fighter. He loads up. His right hand is money. Um, he's a really, really fun fighter. I don't think he's ever going to be a world champion or anything like that. He's not particularly tall. He's 5'11 for the weight class. He's not particularly long, 72-inch reach. Uh, but he can hit. He works on the inside. He mixes up head and body shots really, really well. Um, he's a puncher. He's an offensive fighter. He's not super athletic. He doesn't have a, a, a spectacular jab, um, but he doubles up. He puts his punches together. He does uh, – you know, he mixes up head and body really well. He'll throw three, four shots to the body, get you to come up with your body and nail you to the head with the right hand. Um, he's good. He's fun. I, I think he's always going to operate just below the lowest, the highest level, right? He's just a notch below. He's a B-plus fighter. He's a good fighter, uh, but I don't think he's ever going to be a, a world championship fighter. He's a good fighter, though. Uh, Jack Cullen uh, has been knocked out. He just got knocked out by Pacheco with a body shot. He uh before that he had a two-up fight, and then before that he got knocked out by Kevin Sajo with a brutal body shot in the sixth round. So he's been knocked out in the fourth and the sixth. And honestly, I, I think if, and, 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 and I know B Pacheco has a lot of fans. I, I think if Hefron fought either Pacheco or Sajo, Hefron would beat both of them. I think he's a bigger hitter than both of them. He can go to the body well. You see what I'm getting at here? And, and Cullen is not a bad fighter. He just can't really hit. He's long. He uses his jab. He can fight going backwards. But you can get on the inside. And if you can get on the inside and the guy's susceptible to body shots, how's this going to go? That's why I, I'm thinking it's a fun fight. It's a good fight. I don't really see a path to how Cullen can win because he can't keep Efron off of him. Um, Efron's going to get the inside. It's not just like, you know, calling some great mover. He's just long. He's fundamentally pretty good. He has a high guard. Um, he fights off the back foot. Um, he can fight in the pocket, but he's, that's, he can't hit. If you can't hit, you can't keep this guy off you. So Efron's eventually going to get on the inside and just break him. And I, I, I'm going to say that's probably around six or seven. Maybe eight, but we're going to get into the over under in just a minute. I'm going to show you how we're going to bet this fight. But I, I you know, again, I, I don't think this is like a blow up fight, but on the same kind of, I, I don't think Efron has much of a, I mean, I, I don't think Colin has much of a chance. I, I don't see a path to victory for him. Um, and we'll, let, let's get into the line now. Uh, boom, boom. 
So uh, this is how I'm going to place this bet. <clears throat> All right. Efron, is, is, is a, and he should be, is a noticeable favorite. Minus 380, meaning you bet $100, you win 26. You get your payout of 126, 31. Uh, you, you get your original $100, and then you get 26, 31 back. So it's basically four to one. Um, he's going to win the fight. It's not worth betting on Cullen. Mark Heffron by KO. Now, this is the bet I really like. If I was going to KO, TKO, or DQ, this is the bet I really like. Um, I would probably do this. I'd probably double that up, make that my two times bet, right, to kind of make the money back um, on Efron because Efron doesn't really pay. Um, but it, it pays minus 120, which means a uh, $100 bet. Would make you eighty-three thirty-three. A two hundred dollar bet, so it's all, it's close to even. Would make you one sixty-six sixty-six. I, I I think that's probably what you should do. Make a two times bet on Efron, and then I would take the under nine and a half rounds. I don't see this thing going the distance nine and a half. I'm saying seven or eight. So, um, I I think that's in the wheelhouse there. Um. This is a tricky one. Uh, I don't think he makes it to the end, so I'll take the under. Um, and that is a $100 bet that would make it $86.95. So if you took my advice, you, you'd lay out $400. And you would make $167, $87, and $26. So on a four hundred dollar bet, you'd make three thirty. That's not bad for a guy. Plus your original money back for a guy that I think is a sizable favorite. Now he's got to knock him out before the end of uh, before um, you know nine and a half rounds. So he's got to knock him out uh, before the halfway mark of the tenth round. I, I think that gets done. I think that's a good bet. Um, you know, Efron shows your shots, but he's going to weigh you down. He's going to break you down, um, and there's not much. That Colin can't hit. He doesn't get knockouts. Um, he he's gonna let the fight get on the inside. We did with Pacheco. He did with said Joe, and he's gonna ha it's gonna happen to go to Efron. So I, I think Efron, who's a bigger hitter than than Pacheco, I know people like Pacheco. I don't really see the big deal about Pacheco. I understand he's got 16 knockouts and 19 wins, but you kind of go through it, right? And uh, who he beat? You know, there's not really any names. I would say there's better names. Lennox Clark. Enrique Colazzo is probably the best name. Um, Jank uh, Polina. But, the, I, I mean, this is not a good resume um, for Pacheco. And Pacheco 6'4". So he's bigger than Cullen, which is bizarre uh, at that weight class. But if you go through Heffron's resume, Heffron, I, 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 I would say, has the better resume. Right, Heffron's got a win over Lennox Clark. That's a good win. He's got the draw at Denzel Bentley, and you know now we're going all the way back. But I, I, I would say it's better. I would say the best win on the resume, either one of those guys, is, is is Lennox Clark, and he destroyed Lennox Clark. Got him out in five rounds. Twenty nine wins, tw two losses, one draw, and twenty three stoppages. So he's got twenty three stoppages in twenty nine fights. The guy can hit. So, again, we'll take a look at it one more time. Um, I would tell you to take Efron on the under by TKO, KO, DQ. So, uh, my official prediction is Efron, TKO, 8. You're getting nine and a half. I would say take it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Again, this is the box of bookie. We're going to show you how to consistently make money on the sport of boxing. Handicappers can't handicap boxing. We're showing you how to do it. Uh, showing you how to bring down the house. It is August 29th, 2023 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.